What if I told you that you could actually have your truck checks, or any checklist for that matter, digitized and paperless within your department? Not only available on your station computer, but available to any of your members on the department, regardless of what app they use on their, or sorry, what phone they have or tablet they're using. Okay guys, so now that we're in here, I'm going to show you all about Google Apps and how you can integrate it with I Am Responding and with that augmentation, it makes I Am Responding that much uh, stronger. It's one of these things, you mix the two together and it makes a better product. So uh, we use this currently in our department. We have paperless truck checks, paperless fuel submission forms, um, optional officer's report forms so that way they can go in and submit an officer's report uh, post alarm calls. So this is absolutely insane what you can do with this stuff. And it all uh, allows it to be accessed by any phone, anywhere, at any time because it is on the cloud. Let's delve in and I'll show you what to do. First off, you're going to need to go to Google and simply create an account. It doesn't have to be anything special. You're going to have to create an email address. Um, make it something that you remember and remember your password as well. It's something you're going to need to log into a fair amount of and log in. If you create a Gmail account or whatever, just simply go up here to the top right where there's the matrix of uh, six by six squares and that's going to be your apps and you're going to want to click on Google Drive. You'll be brought to the drive and you can simply go up here and hit new and there's going to be some options. We want to go more because we want to create a Google form. So you can be brought into this form. These forms are actually developed to be a survey. You can take the tour. I'm not going to. So all I'm going to do is create a very simple checklist. Let's say that we want to do a fuel check. So this is done daily. It is so simple to set these up if you can spell. So once you type in fuel check here, just go up to the le top left hand side. And it will come up and if you click in there it'll change from untitled to fuel check and you can put a description what's this for this form is used to check the fuel daily in apparatus so I'm just using this as a fuel check you can use this as an apparatus check you can use this as a equipment check anything along those lines Simple. First question. What is the mileage? Or what truck is this? Because now if you can have this option, you can actually have it select what truck this is uh, versus having a fuel check form for each one. So let's go over here and you can do multiple choice, check boxes, drop downs, uh, even scales. I prefer ones that you have to have one choice on. I'll show you why after. So this is engine 11. Hit enter and you'll have another option. Engine 12. Hit enter and you get another option. Engine, whoop, nope, rescue. Tanker, jeez. Tanker, 21. Rescue, 31. Utility. 51. Let's leave it at that for now. That question is now completed. You can go down here and make it a required field, meaning you have to choose something. It will not submit the form until you choose something. So we're done with this question. Let's add one more question. What is the mileage? And for this one, we want to be able to put in a short answer. Doom. So now it's going to have a short answer. Make it required. And you can make it 
so that way it has to be a number. If you enter anything else but a number in there, it won't allow it. All right, and then you can say, what is the fuel level? And then you could go, I'm going to leave it multiple choice this time, full, three quarters, half, quarter. If it's empty, you probably shouldn't have anything else. And make this a required question. We have a rule in our department. If the truck is below three quarters of a tank, three quarters or below, you need to fill it. So you can actually go into the bottom right hand side here with the three dots and you can go description. So now you can put a description in here. If truck is at three quarters or below, fill truck. We're going to add another question. What is the DEF level? Because we have the wonderful emissions that choke our trucks down so much. Anyways, enough of that. So I can go through and type all this out again, but I don't want to. So let's delete this. Let's go back up here and I can actually duplicate the previous question and answers. I'm going to delete the description and I'm going to change fuel level to DEF level. So that just saved a whole bunch of work for me. And then finally, who completed the check? And then we want that to be short answer. But one of the things that I forgot to do is date and time. Now, this automatically enters a date and time when it was submitted. So if it's going to be a thing that may be submitted after the fact, you can go change that or add a manual date and time. For the purpose of this, I'm not going to do that. So my form, I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe I want it to be red. Oh, font style. Wow, I can even change the font style. That wasn't there when I looked last time. But anyways, you can even add colors. So if you want it to be a deeper red or a yellow or whatever, you can change it to be that. Wow, that's bright. So I'm happy with that. You can go up here and you can actually hit preview perfect so this is what your form is gonna look at like when you're done very simple very basic fuel check so let's close out of the preview and we'll go back to this now go up to responses this is where all your responses are gonna be we're not really gonna use this this much but what you do want to do is go over here and there's this little green box with a cross so you can create a spreadsheet so create a new spreadsheet. As soon as you hit create, it'll actually create a spreadsheet. We need to go back to the form and I'll show you about this after. So now we're in still in the form. We've got the spreadsheet created and turned on. We need to go and hit the send button. And you need to go into here and you need to go shorten URL copy this URL control C all right and hit cancel that's what we need to get out of there and now we need to go into settings if you're using G suites you may have it uh, set up so that way only people within your organization can see it. This is a standalone Gmail account. You don't need G Suites for this. That's all you need to do. So we're done. So what you can do 
is I'm going to go into a completely different browser so that way I'm not logged in. And it will take a second to launch it. It's been a while since I've opened it. Quite a while, apparently. And it will bring you to the URL page. Simply put that address in and hit enter. And it will bring you to that form. Not even signed in. So that's perfect. That's exactly where you want it. So before, I showed you and I am responding, Department Resources. So let's go log into I am responding now. And I'm going to go into subscriber login. Southside Fire Department. Administrative functions, and again, you're going to need uh, access for admin to be able to do this. So, system settings, manage agency resources, and that video I did a few weeks ago on how to do manage agency resources. This is all you need to figure out. Go into there. And simply type in fuel check type your URL in here and add perfect that's exactly what I want so if you go to home and you go to resources and department resources it's going to be right in there as soon as you hit fuel check it will open that fuel check let's go over to my phone now and I want to show you how to do it in your phone All right, so now I'm in my I am responding on my phone. This is where it gets really cool. So I simply go into my menu on the top left hand, right hand, left hand side, scroll down, and again, just like you saw in the video in Department Resources, I click Resources, Department Resources, and hit Fuel Check. It will open up that fuel form and the beautiful thing is nicely formatted for a mobile device. So I can go into here. So what truck is this? Engine 11. What truck is the mileage? The mileage, I don't know, is 99999. Is it full? Is it three quarter? And who completed the check? Daniel. My apologies for my poor English. Who complete the check? Yes, sir write a good English anyways you get the idea if you hit submit all that information is now submitted in you can go to the next truck and do it again so again let's go back to the computer side and just see exactly what happened in the form once you go back to the form I can see okay I've got one response great what's the fuel level I don't like using this, but when you go into the actual fuel check table, you can see what I just submitted is all in here. All right. And you can even go as much as taking all these 
and doing a conditional format on them. To the point where format, conditional formatting, and you can put it so that way you can have it. So if it says full, it's green. If it's three quarters, it's orange. I'm not going to go into the details on this. It's a bit of a more of an advanced function. But as you get the picture, when you do these fuel check forms and you do more than one over and over again, you can go and type in and say, okay, well, today this truck was at half a tank. Or this truck check this didn't work. As soon as you hit submit, another entry goes in. So that's the kind of power that you have with Google Forms. And you can play with the formatting and the conditional formatting. But this is the basic uh, premise behind doing it. So I hope this helps. Again, this is completely free for you to do using a just a generic Google account. My suggestion would do a, a generic Google email for your department. Make sure you write the, the password down and just go in and create it there versus each other's. It does make it a lot easier. But anything you think you can do a checklist, uniform sizes, um, fuel checks, maintenance logs, officer reports, anything like that can be done in here. Now, the officer reports don't look pretty, but I'm going to show an advanced feature of that later on and exactly how you can have it sent in a PDF form as soon as you hit submit. And that's what we're doing now. So thanks for watching again. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it uh, makes a bit of sense for you. And I hope that you use I am responding to its max and this will help you push your department further along and truly be paperless when it comes to truck checks, fuel logs, service logs, or anything for that matter. Take care, and again, it is I.A. Daniel, and have a great night.